friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Nova Scotia Living. Oh, we're just going for our morning walk. It's not too cold out right now. I mean, it's chilly. It's not like, but it's not wearing my hat kind of walk in the morning. You know what I mean? But I hear a rooster off in the distance. And yeah. Uh, Anyways, today is compost day. I hope they empty my gosh darn compost because I haven't in like the past two times they've come. Well, even longer than that, but it was kind of frozen, so I don't know. Sons of guns. What do you think, Violet, huh? <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I had the kids' lunches packed. Look, I did get a little bit of sun. A little bit feel it but I feel uh, it's really helping my skin I know I might not sound right but it does it's not really so much for vanity reasons but it's just I don't know it helps my skin so yeah anyways I'm going for a walk in my slippers and I don't have my long red leash because it's tied to the four-wheeler in the shop and I told Marquise you better get that off there because I need it for tomorrow and I'm not going in the shop to untie it so when I, I went into town last night, like with Misha and Mays for that Kids for Christ, they had, uh, they were cleaning the shop, and they had the dogs over closer to them to listen to records. But anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I'm just going to see if she can uh, take care of her business, and then we'll go back and wake up the rest of the crew. All right, we're back. Look. He's up behind me. Violet's here. Everything's good. I made a coffee. I'm going to have to go upstairs in about five minutes, though, so I don't know if I'll finish it all. But I just wanted to have at least a sniff of it before beforehand. But when we got back, Marquis had Boris outside taking care of his business, and everything went tickety-boo. I'm going to give him breakfast after the kids leave on the bus, and then they'll eat again around 1 o'clock then around supper and then usually Boris will have something like before he goes to bed or around bedtime. So we'll be all, all good. But he's just chilling. I'm going to have a couple of snorts off my coffee and yeah, I'll be back. Uh, oh, just a second. Sorry. My husband, uh, Used a chainsaw and cut up that big piece of wood. No, I think it was Mar uh I thought it was Dad. I don't think Dad would let Marquise use the chainsaw. Uh, anyway, so now it's all down, but now the dogs are going to get all tangled in it, so we got to move it. Yeah. Guess you guys can do that after school. No. <laughs> If it's raining, you don't have to. If it's not raining, you do have to. Just use a wheelbarrow. Oh, I think I hear the bus. What? This? You'll be able to ride to your heart's content when you get home. Oh, that's not the bus. He's tied up. He's not going to... Oh, you did have Kleenex in your bag. Excellent. Don't have a mask. All right, have a good day at school, Zara. I love ya. <clears throat> have a good day at school, Maze. Love ya. Misha's running for a mask. Yeah, I can feel the rain in the air. I'm gonna go in and feed these guys breakfast. Oh, there's a squirrel up there. Have a good day at school, Mish. Love ya. That's a pair of those new jeans. Misha and uh, Maziah both wore jeans I got from Frenchies last night. I washed them. So. Yeah. Oh. There they go. All right, kids. Are you guys hungry for some breakfast? A big old bowl of brekkie. All right. We're in the house. The dogs are having their breakfast. Boris is locked in this kennel while he's eating. Violet's in the kitchen. I'm gonna go wake up Mally. 
and I got some struggles while I was up there getting Mally up out of bed. All right, guys, it's 7.39. I have TV for dogs on. They just finished their breakfast. Uh, Violet didn't finish all hers, but I put a boiled egg in there. Breakfast, too, like I cut it up, and he seemed to like it, so I won't give him anything. Like, I'm just trying his stomach. I don't want to give him that, and then beef, and then other things, you know, just one thing at a time because he's a baby and see how his stomach reacts. So we'll see how he does with that. But I just took out two packs of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm going to make a chicken curry tonight. I have stuff for breakfast for supper, but I'd have to defrost the sausages and it's just, I don't feel like doing that. Chicken curry I could do in one pan, then I could do the rice later on today. This one was 988. 10:13. So I'm going to stick those in the microwave to defrost and after Mally goes we can cook up that chicken, make the curry chicken and then later later on we'll just make a pot of basmati rice. Easy peasy. We just came outside and I was picking up sticks that were around here that my husband uh, he chunked up that big thing but Boris was having a nice sleep on the living room couch so we'll stay outside for a little while, but I want to, it's supposed to rain a bit today, so we'll be inside some. But now I'm going to try to move some of this stuff and just throw it over there because I can't, like their leashes will keep getting caught in it. What are you smelling there? Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. There, I did it a bit, but I'll let them run around a bit. If you can have a couple of peas. And then we'll go in and we'll do that chicken. I have it defrosted, or mostly defrosted in the microwave, not all the way. It's easier to cut it when it's still a little bit frozen. So, yeah. But I put a egg, boiled egg, in their breakfast this morning. And he seemed to gobble it right up, which is good. Good, good. And he promptly fell asleep right after. <laughs> so, it's not affecting him, so that's like in a bad way. So that's good. Oh, and I'm, I'd like to be out here when the compost truck comes because I want them to empty our friggin' compost. If not, I'll have to call them. Well, my husband called them last week, but it's like, pick it up. Anne has hers out. I don't think hers was emptied last week either, so I don't know what the heck's going on, but not acceptable. Okay, you guys, go go play. Go play. Oh, and I got a, oh yeah, I showed you, I got a load of laundry going, just with some straggle stuff upstairs, towels and whatnot, but anyways, my husband went back to the city last night, and he might be back on the weekend, I'm not sure, so we'll see, we'll see about that, but Mally has a dance to go to tonight at the school, but that's not till tonight, so I'll have the van, like Marquise will be home from work, I can drive her into the dance, and she has that artist way, they're doing it a bit early today, um, Usually they do it in the evening, but since it's the dance, they're going to go right after school. And one of the other kids' parents are going to pick them up from school to go to that and then come back home, get ready for the dance, and go to the dance. So, ah, uh, that's teen life. All right. Well, Boris took care of some more business, which is fantastic. They've had, both had a big drink of water. It's 10 after 9. I have Violet tethered. Boris is not, but he has the long lead on him just because I don't want them to get tied up in knots together. But we're going to go in so I can do that chicken. And they'll probably have a little break, watch some TV for dogs and have a nap. I'll wait till they simmer down. But, um, yeah, they're, play they're playing. It looks aggressive, but it really isn't. Like, Violet's not even making bite contact. She just pretends that she does, unless need be. But... And look at all the energy Boris is exerting, which is great. So he'll have a nice kink. I'll make some supper. The little tiny black fly flies are out, and they're getting on my friggin' nerves. There's not much of a breeze today, so it's probably going to be really hot this afternoon. And those little tiny friggin' black flies are annoying as heck. So I don't know if I'll be able to sit out like I have been. I'll come out, of course, but not as leisurely as I was before. I'll do it for right. uh, I got the chicken still like partially frozen a little bit, but it'll be easier to, it won't be so slippery, slidey all over the place. <sighs> the pups are in, they're 
TV's going, but Boris is here eating the rest of um, Violet's food, which I'm not going to stop him. I give him what, like his breakfast, and I'm starting to leave stuff out. Uh, not just free will, willy nilly, but I want to make sure that if he's hungry, eat. He's a growing boy, and Violet certainly doesn't want it, so have at her. That way I can wash the bowl and it'll be ready for the next meal. And he will probably go in and lay down because he uh, did a lot of running around outside. But he took care of his business, had a good slurp of water. Um, it's uh, it's all good. I'm just cutting off some of the fattier bits. I don't care for that in my curry. Now I don't want to make this too small. Like I'm not dicing it up, but I'm not teeny tiny anyways. But we'll do this. Yeah, these weren't 50% off, but they were a good price compared to what they can be. But no, Mally was messaging me. She was like, are you picking me up from the dance? I'm like, well, yes. How else would you get home, silly? Can you drive one of my friends home? I said, well, yeah, probably. So we'll see. It just reminds me of when I was a teenager. That's how we get around. You know, sometimes your parents would drive, sometimes other parents would drive, sometimes whatever. And, yeah. Anyways, this one's pretty frozen. Oop. I just wiped the table off too, crying out loud. Why don't you guys go out there? It'd be easier to lay down. But whatever, he's right under my chair now. But yeah, he's laying down now. Leaning up against my foot. But anyways, yeah, the birds are singing. Um, Marquise has gone to work. He went to work an hour early today so we can get off an hour early. It's just they're roofing, right? And they want to get it done earlier in the day instead of later because it gets so hot up on a roof. I said, well, that's good. And he went to work for 7 instead of 8. He might be home at 3.30 or 4 o'clock instead of 5. You know. Depends on how much work they get done. Anyways, I'll fast pace this because I got two more to, or another pack to do and finish this one. And yeah, we'll go on with the day. Oh, they just went out too. They might play a few more minutes actually, but they'll settle down. I find um, that's how they are. They play hard for a while and then they go and have a break. It's not like an all day supercharged day. But I can't wait till we have, I know I said I was going to fast pace it, but I'm just talking. Um, till we, it's the summer, we can be down on our little patch area. We have our own road, private road. So we can run up and down there on walks. I can let them off. Like I don't really off lead walk, even Violet, because she doesn't have the greatest recall. But um, when it's on our road, it's a long enough road. She'd have to run a ways to get to the main road kind of thing. And yeah, we can work on it more there and stuff. It'll be good. And then a lake. Oh, I feel like I have one of those black flies up in my hair. I don't know. I hate those little things. No offense, black flies, but you're annoying as I'll get out. Yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta, I gotta see you. It's gonna drive me insane. Ugh, do I? Just an itch. Yeah, just. I need to do, <laughs> do that. It's gonna drive me crazy. But hopefully this afternoon they kind of simmer down. <clears throat> now they weren't bad the past couple days, but there's been a little bit of a breeze. 
that when there's no breeze, that's when they come out thick. And that's something I want to get for our patch. I want to get an outhouse. I want to get um, one of those, I don't know what they are. Like they're, I think they run on propane, but you hook up a propane tank and it keeps bugs away. They're kind of pricey. Uh, I'd like to look into that and it covers a specific area. I don't know. I'd have to look more into it so I know more about it. I don't mind bugs in the sense I'm not scared of them. I find them annoying, but Messiah and Mally don't care for them at all. They would rather stay home than go. And I can't have that. I can't have that. If I can make it a little bit easier, I'm going to do it. the birds out there on the TV. All right, now I'll speed it up. virgin olive oil evoo 10.99 regular but i got a 50 percent off of course and we'll get this going it's 9 34 so that's just some frozen dice onions um i'm actually going to do this frozen chopped spinach. I'm going to do it in the microwave. The directions are for half a pack, like half a pack, put it in a microwave safe dish, two and a half to three minutes, break it up halfway through in cooking time. I put it in both pack, like this comes out in two cubes, put them both in microwave container, uh, do it for seven minutes. I don't break it up halfway through and then <clears throat> I strain it and then add it. So I'll get that going while this starts to warm up, and I'll be right back. All right, so it's in the microwave. I've got Bruce out. And, yeah, I'll just cook this chicken, but not to smithereens. I don't need it all brown, but I want it cooked for the most part. And then I add the sauce. I don't know if I have any chopped tomatoes, but if not, I'll just add tomato sauce. And I don't know if I have any coconut milk, and if not, I will some, add some heavy whipping cream. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to throw it together. I did dig out my um, Indian masala. I'm going to add, what is this, onion powder. The sauce, or like the flavor of the curries, that's not open yet. It's almost as good as the chicken, you know what I mean? Like to have um, the curry sauce mixed in with a bunch of rice, have a bit of a kick, a savory flavor. Oh, they're both in here now. Boris is laying under the table or just laid down, so that's all right. You want to hang out with me? Go right ahead. And what else can I add? I'll add 
add some garlic, pepper, and herbs. This is always a hit, and I never make it exactly the same any time I make it. It's not following any specific recipe. It's just oh, it's savory, it's curry. It's good. There's some turmeric. I don't know if I have any cumin out right now. Creole seasoning. Oh, they must have found another one up in the cupboard. I thought I was out. Oh, no, it was Slap Your Mama. I was out. Maybe I'll throw some of this up in it. You can't go wrong with that, can you? You can't. Certainly not an authentic Indian curry at all. So since I'm adding this, I'm not going to add salt to it. I might taste it after it's done to see if it needs salt, but this has salt up in it, so I won't add any. I am going to add some turmeric in a minute and some black pepper. And I'll add the spinach when this is just about ready to start adding the sauce. And yeah, I wanted to get this part done early because it's easy to heat up. And then I'll make a big pot of basmati rice. I do have egg rolls, which doesn't necessarily go with curry, but I don't think I'll do that. I'll just I'll do this. And if I have a cucumber, I could cut that up so it can kind of off-balance the spicy curry. Yeah, it looks like I got a bit of sun, doesn't it? Just laying out in the sun the past couple days um, really rejuvenates me. And it's not like so much for vanity reasons, but I have eczema. My skin is very sensitive. It's usually this time of year I pay to go to a tanning bed. Uh, because my skin really changes with the seasons and how it was cold and then it got warmer and then it got rainy and then it got hot and then it got cold. <clears throat> my skin really is affected by that. And I find sun is the best, like it really, it really helps me. It does. And I get a tan at the same time. I'm not out to try to get as dark as I can possibly get. I'm not trying to get a sunburn. I'm not trying to do this dangerously, but it really, sun is good for anybody anyways. I do like myself some dark, but I do like the sun too. There's, you know, the sun, he's a powerful <laughs> being. Well, not a being, but you know what I mean? It's powerful energy and it nourishes me kind of thing. So my physical body anyways. So I, I'm feeling good. So my skin isn't um, feeling so sensitive in the sense like it had been how I said mentioned before a couple videos back I think my skin felt like it was on fire like a sunburn and you blow on it and it's really sensitive that's how my skin is a lot of the time now that I got a bit of sun it's kind of masked that a bit and made it well made it a little tougher I guess or desensitized it a bit whether that's good or not I feel good about it and yeah yeah. Boris keeps running in and out. I don't know what he's doing. I made sure he took care of his business. Really good. No accidents today. So far. But he's he's been really good. Um, what are you doing? He's sitting over by the door. I might um, just, he's sitting by the door looking at me. I might just take him out just to see if he pees and then come right back in. I'll be right back. Well, that was good. He went out and had pee, and uh, he wanted to stay out, but um, I said, we'll go back out in a little while, but at least he knows to, well, he knew this time to go to the door and just sit there. I need to get maybe some hanging bells. I know uh, I've done that before years ago and just had some hanging bells, and I, it's not even that I taught. Uh, Frankie to do that he just recognized it as a door I had it there as like a door not alarm but just so I know if somebody comes in the house and he'd ring that and I'd let him out oh that's that spinach I think that might work good Ooh, that's hot there's that spinach I'm gonna put it in a mesh and press it with the back of my a spoon, one of these. 
and I'll just wait for a little bit before I put it in, but it'll give the, um, the spinach a chance to drain out a bit. I just press it with the back of my spoon and it goes out. And we're good. So I have this on high now because I want it to get going. Like I want it to hurry the hurry up. I want to be done this. I'm not in the cooking mood these days. Like my mind is wrapped around other things. The house is just about to close. Uh, getting adjusted with Boris and making sure the family's adjusted with Boris and Boris is adjusted with the family. So far so good. And I know some of you might wonder why? Why? Because I have so much on my plate. I just function better that way sometimes and uh, not always but I don't regret getting Boris at all. At all. And I'm doing my best. And I'm actually looking into getting a trainer for both uh, Violet and Boris. I guess there's somebody here in my local village. I don't know if I told you guys that before. I'm going to reach out. I just wanted to give Boris a week or two just to adjust. And look into that. So, <clears throat> like Violet knows basic things like stay, <coughs> sit, and I'm not looking for big fancy tricks, but I want to do that. I've read books on dog training and listened to books and positive reinforcements and different things like that. And it seems so simple, but I work better watching somebody do it and somebody telling me directly how to do it. And that was teamwork, by the way. And just to get the basics down, Uh, he needs to learn how to walk properly on a leash. I know everybody says you're not supposed to try to take him for long walks or walk on a leash on the road when they're brand spanking new because they're just adjusting. So that's why I haven't done that with him. But I want to do start tackling that before he gets so big that it's harder to, it's easier to teach dogs new things than make them unlearn bad things. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the plan. But so far, so good. And he doesn't mind his kennel. I don't keep him in his kennel as much as some people do, and I have nothing against that. I don't think dogs should be in kennels all, you know, more time than not. But he eats his meals in there. He has gone in there and laid down for a nap. The door is open. I haven't shut the door while he's napping but he's starting to recognize it as his little private spot. And I'm proud of him for that. He sleeps in Marquise and Kara's room right now. And um, yeah, they know to have the floor clear and stuff and he's doing good. The first couple of nights he did have an accident, but they cleaned it right up. They've been taking him out and the past, I don't know, four or five nights, no accidents. He sleeps all night. So that's amazing. And um, I was reading, well, I read my comments all the time. I just don't get a chance to really respond to many. But I had mentioned briefly on one of my videos that Marquise and Kara may be moving out west. That's the plan. And they told me the other day, and I'm okay with it. It wouldn't be till the end of summer. Like, he's going to work all summer and stuff. And day has got a bigger place out there now. <coughs> they could land there stay there till they get situated a month or two you might be going to school out there and things so it's very uh, un, um, it doesn't make it any easier than when Medea left but I'm more prepared for it and knowing that she's out there Cody's out there Evie's out there my brother Josh his wife Natasha my niece and nephew are out there so it's like moving from one family to another but it's one big big family so, yes, and I have enough time to process it properly 
and not be so scared about it as I was before. I'm going to miss them terribly, but I know that's what kids have to do when they, Marquise is 20 years old, you know what I mean? And this whole pandemic threw everybody in a tizzy and the whole housing crisis and everything else, I'm not going to get into all that. To rent an apartment around here, <coughs> you pay an outrageous price and they're crappy, it might be a crappy apartment. So that was the main reason, well, that was one of the main reasons. <coughs> Medea ended up moving, like it just wasn't feasible to get anywhere, so you pretty much are stagnant unless you're already established, and I'm not saying that we're established, but we're blessed enough to have a house, we're super blessed to have a house to sell, and we're not going to come out on top, but we'll certainly come out a lot more debt free than we were, you know, before, we won't have two mortgages and all, it's just craziness, craziness. So out there, he can go to school, he can get a job, um, and he has family to support him out there. It's not like he's blindly going out there and doesn't know anybody. So it just makes me feel a bit better. And I'm happy for Evie too. He can grow up with his uncle and uh, I was going to say aunt, Kara's not officially married, but she's part of our family. So with his uh, uncle and aunt in the area so it's not not that Evie would forget about here but he can still have more family around him which is fantastic so I'm happy about that but yeah so there's some changes going on some changes and then when those guys move uh, Mally will end up moving into Marquise, Marquise's room I told Mally she could have that room, but I want to paint it before she moves in there. Their room's a big room, um, but it needs a fresh coat of paint and stuff. So we'll do that, and then Misha may share a bedroom, but now they can all have their own room. So Misha will either go into Mally's old room, or May's will. I'll let Misha pick, because she's older, and May's would be whatever. He's easy going like that. And um, all the kids will have their own room, which I don't think I've ever had that since I just had two, two kids, Madea and Marquise, before I had all the other ones. So, and I'm not against kids sharing bedrooms, bunk beds, anything like that. I think that's, there's a lot of value in that too. Uh, they learn to share, they learn to get along, they learn to fight, but they learn to, I don't know. Yeah, it's good. It's good that it'll be nice now that the kids are getting older. <sighs> Growing into teenagers, it was always 12. Misha's 10. God, she's 10, right? Goodness sakes. Yes. And um, she will be 11 this year. For goodness sakes, I'm having brain fog. Mazziah is, yeah, is 12. Mays is 7, so he still has a few, but Mazziah will be a teenager next January. Mally will be 15 next April, so it's still a ways away, but as they grow into older children, into teens, into young adults, you need your own space, if possible. And it's going to be possible, so that's great. That's great. So anyways, I'm just waiting for this to be done. I look like I'm holding it together. When they go, I'll probably be a little more of a blubbery mess, but I'll be okay. I know it'll be okay. I know it'll be okay. I need to find, oh, curry powder. I know I have some. Just hold on a second. All right, I found it. It's unopened. I might have an opened one, but I'm opening this. I don't care. Okay, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I wouldn't say this chicken is all the way cooked, but it's cooked enough for me to start adding stuff to it. So there's that spinach I just used, pressed it down. And 
that. Because once I add all the sauce and stuff, I simmer it for a little while. I don't like put it right on, on high. Well, I will at first so it gets hot and then I turn it down. Uh, I want to see if I have that patax hot and spicy stuff. Oh, I'm going to add some of that and some of this and some of this. Oh, and some of this. Oh, well. Yeah. Something sticky. Dang it. This is black bean sauce. I'm adding some of it because I'm trying to use it up. Otherwise, it'll just sit in my fridge. Some dried tomatoes. Patak spice paste. Oh, Nelly. I'll wait. Well, I should wait for a second. Let me take care of the dry stuff and get the sauce in, and then I'll add that other stuff. Ooh, I love curry. I'm not, I know not everybody does. Medea doesn't like curry. Like, she really doesn't, but the rest of them do. And I add a good dose of it. Two big things. I'm going to add some of that tag stuff. If I need more, I'll add more, but that's good. That's good. Let me go see if I have some diced tomatoes. I don't think I do, though. All right. I couldn't find any, but I didn't look that hard, but I don't care. I care to feed my family, but it's not a big deal. I'm using some spicy red pepper and chilies. I have two cans of this. I don't know whether I'll use two cans, but... But we'll see. Move that curry around in there. Woo! Smells good. Smells good. Turn it up to a seven. Okay, I'm gonna add this. I'm not even gonna chop these up. I just, those are those sun dried tomatoes. Oh, I didn't add any Indian masala. I'm gonna have to get some more of that. I'll add one can of this sauce for now and see. And my kids don't mind heat. I mean, I wouldn't make it super spicy, but they don't mind a little heat. Can't take the heat, get the high heck out of the kitchen. They don't like this, I mean, you know, for some reason if they don't. Tara made something last night, some sort of pasta, cheese, spice, something or other. So they could have that. All right, my phone shut off. I didn't notice, so I don't know what you seen and what you didn't. I was just jabbering away. And then I look up and my phone's black, so I added diced garlic from Costco. I added, what else? I think you've seen sun-dried tomatoes and black bean sauce. And I added two big spoonfuls of this Patax uh, spice paste. I don't know if you've seen that or not, but two big ones. I added two big spoonfuls of curry powder. I don't know what else I missed. So it might be there, it might not. I don't know the second my phone shut off. I was just looking for some coconut milk. I had to make room on my phone. That's why it shut off. I don't, I can't find any coconut milk, so I'm just gonna add some heavy cream. And I'm just used to uh, curry chicken and curry stuff being a little more runny. And usually I like things thick, but I don't know. There's a, this is heavy whipping cream. I'll just add that in, it might look a little more like my usual. So when I make rice tonight, I'm at least going to double it. I might even triple it because, yeah, I was saying, 
Uh, Misha, no doubt, I can guarantee pretty much, if there's any left over, she'll want me to put it in her lunch. 100%. Mazaya says that a lot too, if she thinks of it, but Mazaya, Misha will say that before she even takes her first bite of this. She loves curry. But anyways, I'm going to mix that up. Oh, I'll turn this. I turned it way down while I was looking for that coconut milk. So I'll put it back up, get it nice and hot, and then I'll put it down to medium and simmer it for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then it'll be done. Yeah, this is thick. Thick, baby. Thick. All right, I'll be back. I just want to show you. <laughs> He can't get under the couch anymore, but he can get in between the two couches and he's maxing and relaxing. All right, guys, it is 1140. Boris just woke up. Um, so I just tied them outside. I'm going right out. I just filled up their water bucket with nice, fresh, cold water. Came in, changed my pants into my un husband's underwear the same ones I was wearing yesterday, but I do have my undies underneath that. FYI, you know what I mean? I'll wash them tonight. Like, they're fine. Just, you know, sitting out in the sun and stuff. Um, that chicken is turned off. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so it's super thick. It is. But that's okay. I did taste it, and I want to have a whole bowl of it, to be honest. <laughs> it tastes okay. Like, it tastes curry e. And um, I'm not going to add any salt to it. It's fine the way it is. And if anybody wants soy sauce or more salt on it, they can have it. But I'm going to let this cool down. Well, by the time the kids get home today. Honestly, it's a CLT day, which means it's like 90 minutes early. I say half day. It's not quite a half day, but almost a half day. They'll be home 90 minutes early, an hour and a half earlier than usual. Um, by the time I get that to cool down and put it in the fridge, it'll be time to heat it up again. Almost. I don't know. We'll see. But the babes are outside. Uh, they got water. I'll probably bring them out a treat to have. And I did lay out my, one of my, um, recliners. I feel like I need to name them. I have to think about that. I have to think about it. Uh, but right now I'm going to go lay on that and, uh, just let them play around have a couple of snacks and enjoy the sun like I'm enjoying the sun because it's the way to do. It's the way to do this time of year, right? Oh, I dropped out. <laughs> I came out right away saying, okay, children, but I dropped my cooler. Oh, for goodness sakes, I'm holding the phone, some dog treats, my puffer, a cooler with ice packs and water bottles and a couple of things for the dogs. Just a minute. All right, I should have did it right off the bat, but I said, hello, children. Had this, and I dropped everything. Hello, children. How's that? <sighs> All right, I have some a couple of water bottles in here, some dog treats, my puffer, and the home telephone in here. I got this out, but I think I'm going to lay it flat so I can lay on my back because I don't need any more sun on my front. But these guys have already, you know, tangled themselves up. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't have a fence. So I don't want to let them loose. But I don't want to tie them so they can't interact. It's important that they interact. But, oh yes, I got something for you, baby. I got something for you. All right, let's give them their treats. All right, they each have a chicken tender. They're really, oh, oh my, my cooler's ringing. Just a minute. All right. I answered the phone. It was for my husband. And it, outside, like, we have an internet phone. It's connected through the internet. So I don't know whether it's that or what. But the person was looking for my husband, just called. And apparently my husband was trying to call him at the same time as he was talking to me. And I'm just like, okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> I couldn't understand. But it's fine. I have no issue with that. It's just like, whatever. Anyways, Violet ate her treat. Look at he split. This is what the chicken tender things look at. Look, look, baby. Look, baby. This is the food aggression thing. I don't want him to be all worked up about. I'm the boss kind of thing. And I'm not trying to be all, like, I'm the boss of everything in the whole wide world. But, I mean, I don't need him cracking if I uh, take food out of his mouth kind of thing. So, now he's eating stuff out of his bowl by himself. 
but he knows I can touch his stuff. I can touch his face. I can touch his snout, his ears, his paws, even his food. And he's not even worked up about, about it, but they have fresh cold water there. Um, it's really hot out here. I want to actually lay in the shade, but there's not much shade around here um, under the picnic table. I might move the dogs closer to that because there is shade over there. But I'm just like, jeepers creepers. Jeepers creepers. I mean, he gets under my lounger, which is okay. And they do have fresh cold water. I just want them to be able to, I, I just don't think I'll be able to stay out like I had the past couple of days. We spent the majority of the day outside. So he's having that. He's not even trying to nip at my hands. Not like he was mad. He just playful, puppy, playful. Um, he's let me pet him, stroke him. Not aggressively, but you know, consistently. And he's good. Don't you even think about it. That's his. That's his turkey. He's goose, you're turkey. <laughs> you ate yours in two shakes of a lamb's tail, didn't you? I know you did. <laughs> yeah, we need to get that baby pool out. One of those little toddler pools. Not the inflatable ones, but the hard plastic ones that last for eons, which is bad for the environment, but it'll last us for our lifetime, for your lifetime, and we'll just do. But I need to fill that up because I would throw these two in there. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Look, he's already halfway under there now. Oh my goodness, I just missed it, but Boris just jumped up from underneath here. I think I'm going to have to move over in the, in the shade, but he just jumped up from there and bit my titty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boy, what's going on? I'm here petting Violet, and he covert attacks. Whoop! Just nipped it and go back to <laughs> Just like, you silly, crazy son of a gun. But, yeah, all right, I'm... I've moved out to the driveway <laughs> right in front of Saritha's door. These guys, it's shadier here. It's, there's a little breeze going on. I brought their water over closer so they can reach it. We're not right in the direct sun. Um, yeah, so we're good. But the friggin' black flies are in where it's shady. Sons of guns. I need to put my pants back on. Yeah, you can have them. You can have them. I know that might not be what you should teach your dog, but if it's a comfort item when he moves to a new home, strangers, smells, or whatever, if that comforts him, go ahead. Go ahead. It's fine. He associates those with me, and it's all good. No, you're not getting my water bottles, baby. Or the telephone. But Larry from Flora and Larry that live down back. Yeah, you might see their sign on the front of our driveway, like they're artists. Where I live, um, I'm surrounded by artists or creative people. Um, Flora paints, and she makes fabulous paintings of flowers and scenery and things like that. Her own style. Her own style. Larry, he makes jewelry, which is amazing. Anyways, he stopped by, and they're a little older in life, like not old, but, you know, they're living their life to the, the best life kind of thing. He just stopped in the driveway. It looks like Saritha's driveway, that road there, but it goes by her house and down to their house. He's like, oh, is Martin home, like my husband home? I said, no, maybe this weekend. But he just wants a little help with his lawn mower. I said, well, I'll let him know. He's not home now. I'm sorry I couldn't help him because I really have no idea about lawnmowers at all. I suppose if I put my mind to it, I could do it, but it's not my realm of interest, I guess. Now, Violet, I just had you tied over to that picnic table. I, d I did have her tied over there. And now that's all you're staring at. Anyways, I put some of the bird seed. I'm really not laying stuff out for the birds because I'm not supposed to. But my husband got that big bag of stuff. We had it. And we had it covered and whatnot. Um, the squirrels found it. The birds haven't seemed to find it. And anyways, I took a couple of big handfuls and put it on the clothesline rack or platform. So they can go there. Now you got tangled up in a bike. 
goodness sakes. Anyways, I, I gotta get those guys out of the sun. Yeah. I'm enjoying the outside, but these bugs, I swear, I have like two on my hand right now just as I'm talking to you. We need to go in for a little while. I just want them to have a good little romp. Then we'll go in. Um, that chicken is shut off. They just dumped out half their water. It's not all gone, but it's half gone. Um, that chicken's done. I'll just do a pot of rice when they get home, and they'll be fine. So, anyways, I'll be back. All right, guys, we're inside now. Um, it was just too dang hot out there. It's really hot. I can't believe, I can't even imagine what August or mid-July is going to be like. Jeepers, creepers. But it's me. I, I know I'm a little more sensitive, I think. But uh, these guys are panting. They had lots of water out there. There's water in the house. I tried to feed them lunch, but, well, Violet's out there now. She wasn't interested when I first gave it to her, but I think she's out there now. I gave him some food. He doesn't seem interested, but it's sitting in his kennel. Um, I only shut the door when he's in his kennel, like, for food, but he didn't bother going in. But he's had lots of water, so he's he's good. But we'll just see. We'll just see. Um, we'll go back out. Like, when they could... All right, guys. I haven't checked in in a while. It's 1.51. I just put a pot of rice on. The kids got home from school. I was on the phone. Yeah. I'm going to hang up some towels, and I'll be back. <laughs> All right. Here is the curry. See, it's quite, it's still quite thick, but Marquise and Kara already took some out of it. But there's enough here for everybody else. And there's lots of rice. So I just fluffed it up and I'm going to serve it up. All right, guys, it's after supper. The kids had curry chicken and rice. Marquise and Kara went to Fred's Hole is a place where people go swimming sometimes. It's a funny name, I know, but that's what they call it, apparently. I've never been there, at least I can't think, and it's right here in this little village. But uh, I'm outside with the pups, and the black flies are wicked. I need one of those mesh coverings because it's bad. It's bad. But I'm going to stay out here for a little while. Um... Mally's not home yet, but she will be home after, and then she'll be going to a dance. I'll be driving her in. But, yeah, Violet and Boris don't seem to be fizzed by these black flies, but I sure am. So I, I look like a, from the backside, it looked like, I don't know, the nun from The Conjuring. Something like that, but it will look scary. But anyways, it's just, they, they're getting all in my ears and stuff. So, <laughs> these guys are having fun, though. I could leave them out here tied up, but that wouldn't be... I. They'd like to have somebody out here with them, and I don't want to leave them out here by themselves. So, I'll hang for as long as I can. And, yeah, then they'll go in, and uh, whatever. So, I'll be back. All right, Mally just got home. We were outside, and I had my thing over my head, but the black flies are terrible out right now. Terrible. Just terrible. Terrible. So, they took care of their business. They had a big slurp of water. We came in because Mally got home. Boris is eating a supper. Violet had hers. And, yeah, she'll go to a dance. What? Yeah, you're playing soccer in the house. But, yeah, this time of year... I mean, bugs are out all summer. I don't, again, I don't mind bugs, but jeepers, they just bombard you. They really do. They really, really, really do. So, anyways, we're back inside. So, it's not like how we were the past couple of days outside all day. I can't hang. I really can't hang. And I don't want to leave them out by themselves. I can for a little while. Like, if I have to come in and turn something on or shut something off. But it's like, no, they're close to the road and I'm scared of kidnapping. I'm scared of kidnapping. That happens sometimes, so I'm not having my babies be taken. No way. No way. So it does? It does. We've got to be careful. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Anyways, I'll be back. 
All right, guys, it's 6.56. Mally's supposed to be to a dance for 7. She'll be fashionably late, but that's okay. Not any fault of ours. She's in there still getting her, getting all dolled up. So, But I'm going to leave Boris home with Marquise and Kara. They're out in the shop listening to records again. John Cougar Mellon Camp's on right now, I think. And I'm going to stop to Sobey's, pick up Saritha's prescriptions, come back out here, and then I think the dance goes over at 10. Like, when I was in school, they used to have dances on Friday nights. Now they do it on Thursday nights. Like, why? Do it on Friday nights so kids can go to their friend's house and have sleepovers or stay up and do things that teenagers do, you know what I mean? If it's a way to stop kids from doing the things kids do, like drink half a bottle of wine behind the Dairy Queen and try to get to the dance before you it really kicks in. Not that, not that. Speaking metaphorically or speaking hypothetically is what I mean. Kids are still going to do that. It's just they'll miss a day of school on Friday. So you might as well just do it on friggin' Friday. Catch the ones that you can catch. Let the ones that can get away with it get in there undetected. Anyways, school dance from 7 to 10. But she wants to go. It's the first first one. Medea and Marquise were never into stuff like that. They never bothered to go into anything like that. They thought it was lame and silly and all that stuff. So if she wants to go to a dance, I'll take her to a dance. I do need to stop to the bank machine, though, and get her some money. And if she brings a food bank donation, she'll get in a dollar cheaper. I need to yell for her to get a can of tomato sauce or something. A can of soup or whatever. Stay hey, Violet. All right, guys, I'm in town, and I forgot my friggin' bank card. I can't find it in my jacket. So I called Dad because Manly has to go to the dance, and I don't have money to get out of the bank machine. And he said he was down to the wharf. So I'm going to borrow some dollar dollar bills, y'all, from him and pay him back on Saturday. But I by the wharf. We'll just get another perspective. Here are the seagulls. Isn't that neat? Violet jumped out the window. For goodness sakes, woman. <laughs> she jumped right out of the van window. I left Boris home. But what do you think of that, Violet? <laughs> she jumped out the window. Come here, you crazy animal. <sighs> she jumped right out the window. <laughs> goodness sakes. I wasn't leaving ya. <laughs> she just wanted to see. I'll call him again, because I thought he said, damn where you turn to go into the wharf. All right, Violet, jump up here. Have a good time at the dance. Cut a rug. Cut a rug. <laughs> okay, come on, Violet. She has a skirt on, some rainbow socks, her big boots, black tur turtleneck. She cool, she cool. All right. Yeah, Dad, uh, I found Dad. I got uh, some money from him, so I'll just pay him back. Oh, there's some boys for the dance. That guy's hat is not very tight. It's sitting right on top of his head. I don't know. Maybe that's the styles. I'm old, Violet. We old, but... They hats that look like they're about to fall off their head. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'll be back. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to stop to Sobeys. Look, they painted the gray. That was all, I think, green. I don't know what it was before, but gray with the green letters. But I'm going to go in and get Saritha's prescriptions. All right, guys, it's 9 o'clock. I'm going to send the kids to bed. I just got done packing the kids' lunches. I'll put them out there, except for Misha's. I uh, have to heat up the curry and rice tomorrow morning and put it in a thermos. But the rest of it's all gone. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get them them to bed. Well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. Oh, I didn't want to get out of bed. It's about 10 after 6. I'm just taking Violet out. I would have taken Boris, but he was still sleeping, so I'll just leave him and I'll get him after. But I just wanted to end this video so I can start a new one. But it's Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. So, anyways, thanks for hanging out with me yesterday 
that curry was a success. I'll have to go in and heat up Misha's little bit to put in her thermos, but then that's it. That's all. So, okay, guys. Well, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, oh. yeah, I forget what I last filmed, but I did pick Mally up around 10. I drove one of her friends home and then came home. We didn't get home till about quarter to 11, but I went right to bed. I was tired. So, but it's the weekend. Well, after they get home, I don't have to pack any stinking lunches. I don't have to do anything like that. So that's great. That's great. Okay, guys. Well, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.